Hello, this is John Rion as we are seeking the truth daily together. And by now we all know that President Donald Trump has had his Twitter account banned forever. And when we look at his Twitter account, we see that he was sixth in follower rank, a A++ rating. He's put out 59,553 tweets. That's a lot of history to just wipe out completely gone. 88,783,411 followers. When he announces the social platform that he is going to either build and bring up, you're going to have a ton of people, not just from the United States, but globally going there because they want freedom of speech. But what I'd like to get into, and I'm going to be putting up some videos today showing you some amazing breaking news that's going on as we go to Lieutenant General McEnany, McEnary and listen to what he has to say about what transpired on January 6th, 2021. And I hope you will follow me on Facebook over here at Seeking Truth Daily, the true source. Over on YouTube, you can find me, John Rion. I'm also on Parlor and Tumblr. You can find the links in the description. They have taken control of our society. And we have one person, we just came from there in the White House, standing in the way. And it's going to mean, and you don't fully realize it, but every one of us here, every American out there, is going to have to stand up. We read about it in history. We read about Normandy and all of that. But now we are in it. And so we must spread it. We cannot, cannot surrender. And the president said he wouldn't. You all know that it was that attack on the Capitol was done by Antifa, but it was enabled by McConnell, by Schumer, by Pelosi, and the mayor. They knew that was coming. You've all been up there. There were hardly any security police there. And, and they moved in, and Antifa did their thing. And then the media picked it up. I worked for Fox for almost 17 years. It's disgraceful what they're doing. And then, and unfortunately, Rupert is driving that with his sons. And they have now merged with the rest of the mainstream media. This is serious. This is expanding. We cannot let it happen. We don't have four years. As Hong Kong has seen, we do not have time. Time is against us. And Ann and I were just talking to someone about the information that's being released that shows clearly in those battleground states the cyber warfare that was used. We also found out, I found out yesterday, that Comey, the former FBI director, sold the hammer and scorecard, this top secret program, to the Chinese. So you now have this top secret program that is like your iPhone. It gets in, it's called Hammer, it gets into the voting network, and then it has an application like on your iPhone, you have all those apps, it puts it on, and it modulates the voting so they win, not by a large number. And I got a call Tuesday night at 11.30 that uh, the ISI from Pakistan <clears throat> was now in the voting machines in Georgia. I called someone, let them know the two candidates, Loeffler <coughs> and uh, Purdue, were ahead. I watched. One hour later, they were behind.